it's Katie, and two weeks ago, I finished my final exams for my first year of college. It's crazy to think that this same time last year, I was still waiting for my weightless decisions. Just an absolute high schooler who had no idea about what I would know now, a year later, after college. The transition from high school to college is definitely a big one. And a lot of you have been asking me about that. You know, what's the difference between high school and college? How do I prepare for college? What should I do? Very valid questions that I also wondered before I came to college. So today, after a lot of reflection, or more like getting obsessed over YA novels in the past two weeks, I'm gonna share 10 of the most important things I wish I knew coming into college. And of course, if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Katie, I go to I haven't worn this shirt in so long. I go to Cornell University and I'm a college and lifestyle YouTuber hustling to upload videos for you ambitious or curious teens. Make sure to subscribe, join the Elohana, which is what we call our family subscribers. We would love to welcome you to our family. And if you have any questions for me, I am a comment or DM away on social media at LohaKDX, so make sure you're following me. Without further ado, here are my top 10 lessons for things I wish I knew as a high schooler. Number one, you need to take initiative in academics. Nobody is gonna babysit you, make sure you have perfect attendance, attend all classes, turn your homework in. No. In college, skipping class, your parents aren't gonna make you go. They're probably thousands of miles away, possibly in a different time zone, in my case. Didn't submit your homework? Teachers aren't gonna chase you, and they're just gonna deduct points. College classes reward those who put effort into it. If you don't do something, you have to pay for the consequences. Yes, college gives you a lot of freedom, but it also gives you a lot of responsibility to deal with your actions and based on your priorities, decide whether the consequences of your actions are acceptable or not to you. Number two, workload. Yes, it's true. College courses are more challenging. You will be expected to learn more material in a shorter amount of time, but it is more manageable than you'd expect because other things change. Like, you're probably taking fewer classes than you did in high school, you have more time, you'll be living 10 minutes away from the library, there are no parents telling you to eat dinner with them for 45 minutes, and there are no curfews so you can study deep into the night without nagging. You're studying things you care about. This might not necessarily be the case in your first year when you have to take required classes, but still, there will be more motivation and less a burdensome feeling of work if it's for a subject that you're genuinely curious about. Remember. Colleges accept you based on the qualities you demonstrated in high school and the initiative you proclaimed you took in your college app. Don't lie, we all did it, or our teacher Rex probably said it for us. You will need that initiative to seek the help you need and the resources, the immense array of resources here at college. Number three, grade standards may change a lot. Then again, it might just be me this semester because I took a lot of engineering classes and engineering GPAs aren't known to be so hot, but maybe that's just me. But unless you're going to slave away your college years just grinding it out in the library, studying and shoving your head in a textbook, you're probably not going to be the best. And that's a fact you should accept now because you may have been in the top 10th percentile in your high school, but in college, so does the other 90th percentile. So give that up, or at least I did, because now is the time to stop putting your worth in your grades. College is when you can discover yourself as so much more than just these arbitrary numbers, and you can decide for yourself how you want to be measured, if you want to be measured at all. Side note though, this depends on your career, so if you're pre-med business and you know that your GPA may have a greater weighting on the career path you want to go into, then in that case, yes, you may choose to value your GPA more. But you know, at the end of the day, the point is just that you know and recognize that it's important getting into you know the traditional career paths that people take, but never really wholeheartedly giving yourself to that number and knowing that you are a unique and incredible person regardless. Number four, friend groups will change. In high school, I sat with the same group of people every day. In college, I am constantly floating, reaching out to different people for a variety of different reasons, sometimes social, sometimes mentorship. Sometimes I'm just sitting alone randomly in a dining hall and I just happen to start a conversation with a person across me. There is so much more flexibility and variety in college to find people you really connect with. My best advice for finding friends is to remember that your vibe attracts your tribe. I don't really have a core group in college, or if I am, they're still 
developing. It's not a goal for me to have a core group because personally, I just really want to meet as many different people as I can. But in college, you know, you can choose, hey, I feel like I want to go out on Friday night. This group is more social, so I'm going to go out with them. I'm feeling active and adventurous. I want to go hike, and I know this group likes the outdoors. It's easier to bring out the side of yourself that you want to achieve when you surround yourself with people who share that same energy, and together you can fuel that for each other. Number five, excuse my language, but people do not give a shit. Like I didn't even say I didn't even say the word. <laughs> Lol. Let me, um, anyway, I feel like in high school everybody wanted to know each other's drama. You know, the weekend after everyone's like, who hooked up with who? Blah blah. What happened? What's the tea? Spill it, sister. But quite frankly, nobody in college really cares about that. Unless your friend group is like that, and you choose to make people aware of what you're doing in college. Most of the time. Your business is your business. Also, a lot of people are much more mature. Of course, there are exceptions, but <laughs> generally, I think people are more career oriented. They're here in college, you know, as the last stage before adulthood to make things happen. Number six, another expletive that I'm not gonna say, but there's so much shit to do. Join clubs, start projects, dabble in spirituality, just do things you never thought you would have. Try everything, get outside your comfort zone, because college is a time to make mistakes, fail, but most of all, learn. What I found to be true is there's always some club that welcomes absolute nooms. Another side note, personally, I cannot imagine what students who live in the city feel like because I'm in a pretty isolated campus, you know, in the rural, in like a very naturey rural area, and still I'm overwhelmed by all the opportunities. If you're in a cosmopolitan city, I feel like I would just be so distracted by the concerts, all the, I don't know, movie premieres and everything. Number seven, college is a battle of priorities. I know we all want a high GPA, a popping social life, and eight hours of sleep, but it's not possible. College is gonna throw you around everywhere, especially during the first few months. You are probably just gonna be like, whoa! You'll be shocked at everything you could possibly do to spend your time on. You'll feel like you don't have enough time. Such is life, but you will soon be able to filter out things that you care about most, your goals, and you will end up building a schedule based on those priorities. Differences from high school is it's much easier to keep things in check in high school because when you're in college, you're probably A, gonna wanna explore everything, and B, at the same time, be overwhelmed by everything you want to explore. Second, You'll also probably be scrambling. It's okay to be scrambling at the first semester or two. I did that and I think it's helpful because you get a better idea of what you want to accomplish and the places in which you can find help, resources, or nourishment, mentorship in that area. And because of all this, you are going to discover so much about yourself. You may think there are so many similar people like you and so you'll want to differentiate yourself more. And when you do that, you'll go back to your roots, reflect on your culture, your upbringing, things you've seen in your life, and challenge perceptions like you haven't before. And through it all, you will gain a much better picture of who you are, how you have come to be, and what you want to be. Number eight, you have complete independence over your schedule. What this looks like on a day-to-day -day basis is you could go to the gym at midnight, you can party on Wednesdays, you can sleep in on a weekday until noon and nobody's gonna wake you up. You get to decide everything in real time without anyone else stopping you or second-guessing you. But of course, remember that there are consequences you'll have to learn from them, but I'm a strong believer that failures, obstacles, and mistakes you make become powerful lessons that shape you into a stronger version of who you are later in your life. Number nine, college is is what you make of it. You can control your mindset no matter what lifestyle other people around you subscribe to. Plug, 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 subscribe. When people are stressing over exams or spreading negative energy, you don't need to fall into that. You can bring light to that. And if you're able to sustain it or endure all of that, you'll come out in even more resolute in your values. College is truly a personalized experience based on the individual's priorities. You should never feel pressured or bad if your lifestyle is different from others or if someone is trying to convert you to their lifestyle. Don't fall into that. You can explore their lifestyle, you can try it out, but in the end, it's up to you to decide whether you want to continue like that or go back to your own lifestyle or find something completely new. So own your lifestyle, own what you personally want to do. You just need to pace yourself. Whenever you feel like comparing yourself to someone who you think is so much better off than you, Remember that you started your journey at different times. You know, you may be comparing your beginning to someone's finale or someone's peak and you just don't know where that is. So remember, everyone goes to different places at different paces. Point is, you do you. But number 10, last thing, is to fill your four years with things you love. At the end of the day, you can learn wherever you are. There's so many ways to get educated now online or through self-taught classes like Skillshare or Udemy. You've heard all the YouTubers sponsor it. 
just kidding. But no other time in your life outside the education system will you be surrounded by so many talented, driven, and diverse people who have come together for these four years of shared experiences, whether that's heartbreak, Wow, funny how that's the first thing that comes to mind for me because I'm single AF. Friendship, success, failure, heartbreak. There we go, that's an appropriate position to be in. You know, everything. Build these relationships, make time for people. You are all here together at such a pivotal moment in your life. Arguably the most experimental point of your life too. You're gonna look back at these memories, at some of the craziest things you do, and you're gonna think of the people and they are going to be irreplaceable. Honestly, when else are you gonna be with such eager people who want to meet you and get to know you? It's scary to think about because I'm still an incoming second year student, but College is going to pass by so quick. You're going to be thrown into office life, the real world, forced into adulthood where you have real responsibilities that actually ha have things at stake. While college is still low stake, where mistakes are more acceptable and overall a great time to be growing and trying everything. Those are my 10 lessons. I hope you take them to heart or not. It's your choice. You have this knowledge now. It's up to you. This is good preparation for college or whatever season you are in your life. I hope there are things you can take away. Give this video a thumbs up if so. Click the top right eye to watch more of my videos. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to join the Alohana here in my vlog channel here. I'm probably traveling right now by the time you see this in somewhere in Central Europe. Okay, it's so exciting. So make sure to follow me on social media at AlohaKDX so you don't miss out on that. I'm rooting for you. Thank you for watching and bye. I'll see you next week.